Hello guys, how are you? How are you doing? How are you feeling? I hope you are all doing stupendous. I am doing much better now that I uh, got my makeup done and got out of bed and did some things. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I did a makeup for mental health today. It'll be my last uploaded video. It's not like your typical makeup video. I did mention that in there, but Anyways, moving on, we're doing a story time as you would have worked out by the title. I'm gonna talk about the time that I refused to kiss a boy. So this goes back to either 2012 or 2013. I was single and ready to mingle. It was my first or second year of college. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I had Tinder multiple times throughout my life. I, like Tinder is the reason I met my boyfriend now. You guys would have worked that out by the boyfriend tag video I did with him that we let you guys know that that's how we met so um, I have nothing against tinder some people use it for hooking up some people use it just to make friends some people use it to actually find a relationship I just used it for fun like I didn't think anything of it there was no purpose to my madness <laughs> or method to my madness but it was a lot of fun at the time I was young and I wanted to meet new people and I was like putting myself out there and I feel like there's also something to be said though about like the dangers of it. I do have another story that I'll um, tell at some point in this channel about a not so good Tinder date that I have and it was pretty creepy and all that and at the most of the time that I had Tinder, actually no, all of the time that I had Tinder because even when I met my boyfriend on Tinder, I didn't have a car. It can be really creepy, so you gotta be really careful. I didn't have a car. For the whole time that I had Tinder, my boyfriend would pick me up for our dates when I met him, and then once we were dating, like two months later was when I got my car. So that just made me realize I never had a car when I was on Tinder, and it was always these guys picking me up, taking me to random places, most of the time not dates. And that's part of why the guy in this video had the outcome that he had. So we're gonna name this guy... Al. So Al was a very handsome guy. I swiped right on him because he had very nice um, attire on. He liked to dress up. He, well, at least in his pictures, he had like a tie and a dress shirt. Ironically enough, that's what my boyfriend likes to wear a lot of the time. <laughs> he had like really nice blue eyes. He just looked really cute. So I'm like, yep, swipe right. He was of Arabic descent, so he was all like, you know, foreign and sh We got to talking and we found out that we went to the same college at the time. I don't know if... I must have not asked. <laughs> I think we were just talking. He's like, oh, like, let's hang out. And I'm like, okay. So one day he came and picked me up. Okay, hence the fact that he would never pick me up at a regular, like, dinner time or lunch time. It'd always be, like, really late at night. So, red flag number one. It was, like, around 10 or 11, and he picked me up, and we drove to a random, like, parking lot, and we just parked there, and we were chatting, having really intelligent and, you know, thoughtful conversations, getting to know each other, and it was great and all of that. I would be looking at him and telling him a story or telling him about something about myself or my family or whatever was relevant at the time or that I felt he needed to know or that was interesting. I don't know, flirting, you know, like normal dating stuff. And he just like went in for a kiss and I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> I literally like was like, no. And he said, why? And, um, and I said, this is our first time hanging out. I couldn't even say first date because he didn't even take me on a date. And it's not that it was the fact that we never went on a date, although it didn't help that like he only picked me up really late at night. But like just something about this guy, how quick he was to like, you know, go in for the gill, even though it's just a kiss. I was just like, no, from the very beginning. I was just like, no, this, no, you're, I'm not going to kiss this guy and he's not going to get to kiss me. And so I proceeded to do that. We were, you know, we went on chatting um, during this first hangout and at the end of the night he went to, I think it was like two or three hours later after us chatting, he went to drop me off and again went in to kiss my face and I was like, mm, kind of like exiting the car, good night. <laughs> I just did not want to do it. The next time we hung out, I can't, like, I can't really remember how many times we hung out, but we actually hung out a couple times, um, and the same thing happened. Like, he would try to kiss me, I wouldn't let him, we would get to know each other even more, and he would tell me that he liked me, and I was like, I don't know why, but I was just skeptical. Like, I, the pace at which he was wanting to go was not something I was cool with. And we weren't, like, constantly in touch through messages or text or anything, so it wasn't, like, anything serious. Like, it wasn't like we were dating, dating. We were just getting to know each other. And it was just more, like, 
meeting new people, you know? Like it was more casual and he was acting like it was like more than casual, which in my mind it wasn't from his, um, well, how do, how do I say this? Like the, the amount of attention that he gave me and the amount of, you know, time invested wasn't, you know, like we were serious or anything. Especially the fact, again, that he picked me up really late at night. One night he actually asked me to hang out and I didn't have any plans and I accepted. It was really late once again and this time he wanted me to stay over. Now, even though I wasn't okay with the pace that he wanted to take things, I was like, you know what? He lives right by the college <laughs> and I had school really early in the morning and I was like, that'd be so convenient for me to go to school right then and there and I know this sounds crazy like oh my gosh he's asking you to sleep over obviously he wants something else but in my mind I'm like why can't we just get to know each other I, I was like on a mission to prove my point of like I just want to get to know you I just not necessarily want to be friends because that like I was attracted to him but I just I didn't want to take it any further I wanted to take things slow I was in the middle of I forgot to mention this since it was 2012 or 2013 it was during one of my breakups with my ex so i was very hesitant i was very hard to trust anyone i wanted to take my time take it slow and just get to know someone really well because i have felt heartbreak already this um was after probably a couple of the breakups <laughs> with my ex but i basically didn't want to get hurt i didn't want to get into anything too fast i didn't want to experience you know hurt feelings or catching feelings or whatever i was kind of rebelling from that kind of thing but anyway, so I go to his house, he picks me up, we go to his house, we're chatting, whatever, I met his roommates or friends or whoever who was there, and then we went to his bedroom. We're talking, we're laughing, we're joking, it was a great time, honestly, like I really valued my time with this guy, he was funny, he was smart, let's just say it just wasn't the right time. Like I was insecure at the time, I was, again, like I said, didn't feel like I could trust anyone, and... I really didn't know where I was taking this. I didn't want it to be serious, but I didn't want it to be as casual as it was, even though I wanted it to be more casual than he was acting like it was, even though he, through messages, was way more casual than like in person. It was like so intense in person, I felt like. We, things led to another, like, not like that. <laughs> like, I mean, in the house. So like we went from the kitchen to the living room to I think that night we actually had dinner and he like ordered takeout or something. We went to his bedroom and started watching a movie. Turns off the light, starts cuddling me, that's fine. I'm always down for a good snuggle. Like if cuddling made you a slut, I'm the biggest whore. <laughs> so we're cuddling, we're cuddling and again he's trying to kiss me and I'm like no, I'm not. I'm not gonna kiss this guy. I have my clothes here, I have my book bag here, I'm ready to go to school tomorrow. All I want to do is get some nice cuddles and watch a nice movie. That's all I wanna do right now. And he was so frustrated, like at this point it was fun to me, that he was so persistent in the fact that like, I wanna kiss you. Like he would literally say, why don't you wanna kiss me? I wanna kiss you so bad. And I would say, cause I don't. Cause no is no. <laughs> Woman power. And thankfully this guy was respectful. He never tried forcing anything. He never tried anything weird. He solely only went after the kiss because the kiss is the first thing that comes and then everything later. Some people like to skip steps in there, which I mean, it just depends on my life and timing and um, what my interests are at the time, how I take that. He was he was very respectful. I just, I just wasn't having it. I didn't want it. Yeah, we ended up falling asleep that night. I slept over, nothing happened. We just cuddled. I woke up and I went to school. I, I can't remember if I just like left and walked to school or if he drove me. I think I left because like he didn't have early class that day. So I just like walked myself to class and was like, peace out. But I think that was the last time we hung out because I think he started getting tired of it. He was like, you're too hard to get and la 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 la. And I'm like, I'm not hard to get at all. I feel like this is going so well. <laughs> I, it sounds funny saying it again because of how it might have looked to him that like I was willing to hang out but not willing to kiss him ever but i just wanted to get to know him like i said i wanted to take things slow and guys don't like that usually but clearly the attraction was there he was like you're so hot i want to kiss you and like you won't let me so i don't know what you want to do and i don't know we eventually just like stopped talking because he was like if you're not gonna kiss me i don't want to hang out with you <laughs> and so we never hung out again and we every now and then would touch 
space and he would ask me if I was single and even up until like I don't know if it was when I started dating my ex again the last time like most recently two years ago or three years ago or when I started dating my boyfriend now but that was the last time he messaged me he would message me and say like are you single <laughs> and I would say no and for some reason he would always contact me when I wasn't single or when I was like already seeing someone and he would say, damn it, I always miss a, miss my window. <laughs> Pretty sure he's engaged now, so congrats to him. But <laughs> that's the story about the time I refused to kiss him. I hope you guys enjoyed this story time. Like it if you enjoyed. I want to see what area you guys like most. I do have playlists on the type of videos I do. If you go under my profile and click playlists, you can find my singing videos, my rants, my story times, my vlogs my challenges and tags and my videos with Gord. All of that jazz is down in the playlists button. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All that jazz is in the description box down below. I sound like Hey Paris because I watch way too many of her videos, but she's show poppin' like she likes to say. <laughs> yeah, and subscribe if you haven't already because it's free. Y'all already know your girl is about to go poppin' in here with the story times and the vlogs and the tags and the videos. All right, that's enough of that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.